While Disney hasn't announced a sequel to Encanto yet, that doesn't mean they aren't still building on the world that surrounded the Madrigals. In fact, the House of Mouse has recently revealed Mirabelle's door to the world in a rather sneaky way, which is huge because not only does it mean that the once giftless Madrigal got a door at the end of the movie after all, but it also indicates that there was a reason behind Mirabelle not receiving a door when she was younger. And after rewatching Encanto and going over some theories, it's actually pretty clear what that reason was. For the longest time, fans have posted theories on Reddit and YouTube speculating about Mirabelle and whether or not she got a door of her own at the end of the movie. And Disney has finally chosen to answer that question. One of the first details that were known about Encanto, and this was back when the movie was first announced, was that Mirabelle was the only member of her family who didn't have a special power or a door that led to a magical room of her own. This proved true in the movie, and they showed that even the townspeople felt sympathy for Mirabelle, despite also not having any powers. They knew it must have been hard growing up in a family that was full of greatness and being the only normal one. Not to mention that because she didn't get a room, Mirabelle slept inside of the nursery for her entire life. This is why finding out that Mirabelle got a door after all, and actually being able to see what it looked like, was truly huge news, and actually gave a lot of hints as to what Mirabelle's gift was, and why she didn't get a door when she was younger. As you know, Disney has yet to announce any plans to go forward with an Encanto sequel, or anything of the sort. Though it doesn't seem like they're done with the franchise whatsoever. The creators of the magical film have expressed on Twitter that they would love to continue working on the world around the Madrigal family. So it's all just a matter of time before that's actually greenlit. Though until then, all of the cool attractions and additions to the Disney theme parks will have to suffice. That being said, fans who managed to visit the magical world of Disney over the holiday season might have been lucky enough to catch their first glimpse at Mirabelle's door in person, which would be nothing short of magical itself. And to any eagle-eyed fan who got a look at the door, they might even have realized something about Mirabelle that makes her journey in Encanto even more impressive. Right now, going to a Disney theme park is the best way to experience the magic of the Madrigal family outside of the movie. And for the holiday season, Encanto actually had its own Christmas tree attraction at the Disney Springs Shopping Center in Walt Disney World in Florida. It was on that tree that the creators of Encanto revealed Mirabelle's door for the first time. Now, this wasn't a huge announcement or anything. For the attraction, the company had a special ornament made up for each of the Madrigals in the shape and design of their individual doors. And believe it or not, this also included a door for Mirabelle, which is very exciting news considering the movie has been out for a little over a year already and there was no sign of Mirabelle's door in the film. But thanks to the Disney World Christmas trees, it's now certain that Mirabelle has a door. And just by looking at the design, it should be able to tell us a lot more about her character and why she didn't get a door when she was younger. Mirabelle's ornament on the Encanto Christmas tree was the first time that fans got a look at her door, and its simple design actually might hold a lot of hints as to what Mirabelle's gift and role in her family actually was. Encanto ended with the Madrigal family rebuilding their family home with the help of the rest of the town. And though the family's magical gifts were restored once the final doorknob was placed on Casita by Mirabelle, the movie never showed us what each of the Madrigal's doors looked like or if they had changed at all. Instead, the movie just let the audience know that their magic had been restored through the use of color glitter-like sparkling. The same was done with the doors, even though Encanto made the point of showing us all of the bedroom doors at the end of the movie. But none of them had images on them yet. They were all still processing like a slow computer that needed to buffer. So even if Mirabelle was given a door, there would have been no way of knowing it at that point. However, thanks to the attraction at Disney World, we now know what Mirabelle's door actually looked like when it was finished. And that's important because as the movie showed us, the doors to each of the family members' bedrooms had gilded engravings on them that represented the gift or power given to the Madrigal that lived in that specific room. Mirabelle's door had a simple design on it that depicted her at her current age in the movie, which was 15 years old, with her name written above her head. The door had rays of light coming out from behind Mirabelle, and other than that, it was a fairly normal and simple design. But that's okay, because as the movie showed us, most of the doors were rather simple aside from depicting the family member's gift. Now, much like the rest of the doors, Mirabelle's, despite being simple, holds a lot of secrets within its design, especially when it's compared to another door. And after comparing the two, it'll be a bit clearer not only why Mirabelle didn't get a door when she was younger, but also what her new role is to the Madrigals. When you look at Abuela's door, you'll notice that it has a similar design to Mirabelle's. Abuela is standing in the center holding the candle that granted the family their powers all of those years before. And if you look closely enough, you'll even see similar light rays emanating from behind the candle. But what's really interesting here is that the rays of light are coming from behind the candle, but in front of Abuela, which indicates that she was simply the keeper of the candle. But when you look at Mirabelle's 
store, the light is coming from directly behind Mirabelle, which could be Disney's way of showing that she is the new source of magic for the family and that she's the light that they needed all along. This is huge because it's also sort of been confirmed by Jared Bush, one of the directors that worked on Encanto. Bush pointed out that the color of the sparkles that represented the magic bestowed by the candle changed from a simple gold to a silver color to a very colorful blend of sparkles at the end of the film. This was their way of indicating that Mirabelle was the new source of magic for the family. So to see the same rays of light on her door that were shown on Abuela's door coming from the candle is a huge hint that Mirabelle is the new candle holder, so to speak. It also sheds a little light as to why Mirabelle didn't get a door of her own until she was 15 years old. When she was five years old, Mirabelle had her dream shattered when she didn't receive a magical power or a room of her own behind a door that showcased how amazing she was. But it looks like there was a good reason behind that. According to Encanto, it was tradition for a madrigal to receive their unique power on their fifth birthday, along with a room that was designed with the sole purpose of helping them perfect that power. But while both of her sisters, as well as her mom, and Peppa, and Abuela, all got their own rooms, Mirabel was stuck in the nursery. Well, according to this theory, there was actually a good reason for that, and it involved helping her improve the gift that she didn't even realize she had or was going to receive. In Disney's Encanto, the Madrigals all grew up in the nursery until they were given a gift and a room of their own. And that was arguably where the children were molded into who they became, earning them the specific power that they were granted. Perhaps that's why Mirabel was kept there for so long and seemed to not receive a gift. It it wasn't a punishment or anything of that sort, but instead, the nursery was the best place for Mirabel to keep her family together and shape each upcoming generation into who they needed to be. That's why she got along with Antonio so well in the movie. The two were shown to have a really strong bond, and he even claimed to need Mirabel during his own candle ceremony. Keeping Mirabel in the nursery was likely the magic's way of preparing her for the job that she would have in the future, which we saw in Encanto, was to keep the Madrigals together and teach everyone that they were more than just their gifts. It may seem hopeless, but we'll get by just fine. Sure, the magical powers they had were amazing, but they did not define any of the Madrigal members. And if it wasn't for Mirabel growing up without a gift or a room of her own, she might not have been able to pass that knowledge onto her abuela. And if this theory is true, then that means that Mirabel did grow up in a room of her own that was just like the rest of her family's. It was designed specifically for her and to help her hone her gift and learn how to raise the upcoming generations for when it came her time to take over as the next head of the family. And as you know, that's basically what happened at the end of Encanto. Mirabel helped everyone get their powers back and showed them that they were just as special without them, all while keeping her family together. That might not have been possible if Mirabel was given a gift and a door like the rest of her family. But either way, she has one now and it shows that Mirabel is the new source of her family's magic. What are you hoping to see inside Mirabel's room if Disney finally opens up the door? Make sure you let us know in the comments down below.